In this lesson 7.3, we discuss thermal expansion of solids, which includes linear area and volume expansions. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and do some comments. I post educational videos at least twice a week. So let's get started. In lesson 7.3, we have two goals to define thermal expansion and to solve problems involving thermal expansion of solids such as linear area and volume expansion. What is thermal expansion? Thermal expansion occurs when an object expands and becomes larger due to a change in the object's temperature. Temperature is the average kinetic or movement energy of the molecules in a substance. A higher temperature means that the molecules are moving faster on average. If you heat up a material, the molecules move faster and as a result, they take up more space. They tend to move into areas that were previously empty. This causes the size of the object to increase. Since solids have definite shape and definite volume, then linear area and volume expansions are significant. Thermal expansions in everyday life. One, bridges are built with joints or expansion gaps so they don't crack when the temperature changes. If a bridge gets very heated, the roadbed will expand. On the other hand, if the bridge is cold, the roadbed will retract. These changes in the bridge may seem initially insignificant, but with constant temperature changes, there will be constant and pervasive changes in the bridge length. Consequently, the bridge may eventually start to get distorted. One way to, get to counteract this problem is by using expansion joints. Expansion joints fill gaps within the bridge and act as a flexible variable filler that help the bridge adapt to temperature changes without distorting. Because steel has a relatively high coefficient of thermal expansion, standard railroad tracks are constructed so that they can safely expand on a hot day without derailing the trains traveling over them. Railroads deal with thermal expansion by heating the rail prior to installation. Therefore, the rail is heated to its rail neutral temperature being heated, then cooled as the rail is laid. Additionally, various technologies utilizing wayside devices are implemented to detect rail faults. Number three, a man is ice fishing in a lake. Because of the unique thermal expansion properties of water, ice forms at the top of a lake rather than the bottom, thus allowing marine life to continue living below its surface during the winter. Application number four. Two strips of different metals welded together at one temperature become more or less to curb at other temperatures because the metals have different values for their coefficient of linear expansion. They are often used as thermometers and thermostats. In the figures below, upper metal expands more than lower metal when heated. Now let's consider linear expansion. When an object is heated or cooled, its length changes by an amount proportional to the original length and the change in temperature. As shown in the figure at the right, 
a metal rod with original length L sub O rest on two supports, one of them being a roller. As the other end of the rod is fixed to a rigid support, expansion of the rod beyond that support is being restricted. When the rod is heated, the pointer moves over the calibrated scale to show the linear expansion of the rod. When an object is heated or cooled, its length changes by an amount proportional to the original length and the change in temperature. In equation form, delta L equals A times L sub O times delta T, where delta L is change in length in meters or centimeters, which is final length minus original length. A is coefficient of linear expansion in per degree Celsius, and delta T is change in temperature, which is final temperature minus original temperature. Replacing delta L with LF minus LO in the above equation, and rearranging, we have LF minus LO equals A LO delta T. Transposing LO to the other side of the equation, the final length equals LO plus A times LO delta T. Factoring out LO, the final expression for the final length is LF equals LO times quantity 1 plus A delta T. Table 7.3.1 gives us the coefficient of linear expansion of some solids in times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. For example, the substance aluminum has a coefficient of linear expansion A of 23 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Iron, for example, has a coefficient of linear expansion of 12 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Now let us do some examples. Example number one, a copper bar is 0 0.7 meter long. Find the change in length with a 173 degrees Celsius change in temperature. Solution. Using the formula delta L equals ALO delta T and Substituting the values, the coefficient of linear expansion of copper is 17 times 10 to the minus 6. The original length is 0.7. The change in temperature is 173 degrees Celsius. Substituting the values and simplifying, we get delta L equals 2.02 times 10 to the minus 3 meter. Example number 2. A piece of aluminum house siding is 3.66 meter, meters long on a cold day, which is minus 28 degrees Celsius. How much longer is it on a very hot 39 degrees Celsius day? Solution. Using the formula delta L equals A times L sub O times delta T, and for aluminum, the coefficient of linear expansion is 23 times 10 to the minus 6. The original length is 3.66 meters. Change in temperature is final minus original. We have 39 minus negative 28. Simplifying, we get the change in length is 5.64 times 10 to the minus 3 meter. Example number 3. When steel is subjected to a 25 degree Celsius change in temperature, it changes its length by 0 0.5 meter. What was the, its original length? Solution. From the formula delta L equals ALO delta T and solving for LO, we have LO equals delta L over A delta T. 
substituting the values and simplifying the original length is 1818.18 meters example number four a piece of steel is 11.5 meters long at 22 degrees celsius it is heated to 1221 degrees celsius close to its melting point how long is the piece of steel now so we are required to find the final length using the formula lf equals lo times quantity 1 plus a delta t substituting the values the original length is 11.5 1 plus for steel the coefficient of linear expansion is 11 times 10 to the minus 6 change in temperature is 1,221 minus 22. Simplifying, we get the final length is 11.65 meters. Example number five. Selena has a fire in her fireplace to warm her 20 degrees Celsius apartment. She realizes that she has accidentally left the iron poker in the fire. How hot is the fire if the 0.60 meter poker lengthens by 0.30 centimeter? We are required to find the final temperature. First, we use the formula delta L equals ALO delta T. Her delta L is 0 0.30 centimeters or 0 0.0030 meter. A, the coefficient of linear expansion of iron is 12 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. The original length is 0 0.60. Solving for delta T, Delta T equals delta L divided by ALO and substituting the values, the change in temperature is 416.67 degrees Celsius. Since we are required to find the final temperature, we use the formula delta T equals TF minus TI or solving for the final temperature TF, TF is TI plus delta T and substituting the values 20 plus 416.67 gives us 436.67 degrees celsius now let's go to area expansion area expansion can be defined as expansion in area due to increase in temperature in case of area expansion, there is increase in both the lengthwise and breadthwise. Table 3.7.3.2 shows the formula for the area expansion along with the linear expansion for comparison. Every linear dimension increases by the same percentage with a change in temperature, including holes. This assumes that the expanding material is uniform. Table 7.3.2 gives us the thermal expansion of solids, the linear and area expansions. So the difference between linear and area expansion here is that for delta L, it is replaced by delta A, the A, coefficient of linear expansion is replaced by the coefficient of area expansion which is b and b equals two times a and the final length is replaced by the final area and original length is replaced by original area table 7.3.2 gives us a list of coefficients of linear expansion for some common solid materials. 
still in times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Example number six, a brass washer has an area of 1.7 meters squared at 16 degrees Celsius. By how much will its area increase when the temperature reaches a maximum value of 34 degrees Celsius? Solution, using the formula delta A equals BA or delta T, where the coefficient of area expansion of brass is two times the coefficient of linear expansion 2 times 19 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 38 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Thus, substituting the values, we get the change in area equals 1.16 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. Example number 7. A copper plate is 0.7 meter long and 0.7 meter wide at 10 degrees Celsius. What is the plate's final area when the temperature is increased to 95 degrees Celsius? Using the formula delta A final equals AO times quantity 1 plus B delta T. Here, the B of copper is 2 times A of copper, which is 2 times 17 times 10 to the minus 6 is 34 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Original area is original length times original width is 0.7 times 0.3 is 0.21 meters squared. The change in temperature is 95 minus 10 equals 85 degrees Celsius. Thus, substituting the values into the final area equation, we get final area is 0 0.2106 meter squared. Example number eight, a piece of aluminum house siding is 3.66 meters long and 1.45 meters wide on a cold day, minus 28 degrees Celsius. If its area changes by 0 0.38 meters squared, to what temperature should it be raised? Solution, using the formula Delta A equals B times AO times delta T, where B of aluminum is two times the coefficient of linear expansion of aluminum, or two times 23 times 10 to the minus 6 is 46 times 10 to the minus 6 per degrees Celsius. The original area is 3.66 times 1.45, or this is 5.307 meters squared. The original temperature is negative 28 degrees Celsius. The change in area is 0 0.38 meters squared. And we are required to find the final temperature. First, we solve for delta T. Delta T is delta A over B over A sub O. Substituting the values, simplifying, delta T equals 1,556 Point sixty degrees Celsius. Solving for the final temperature, Tf, from delta T equals Tf minus TO, Tf equals delta T plus TO equals 1,556.60 plus negative 28 equals 1,528.6 degrees Celsius. Example number nine. A steel plate is at 22 degrees Celsius. When it is heated to 120 degrees Celsius, its area changes by 0 0.025 meters squared. Find its original area. From the formula, delta A equals B times AO times delta T, where the coefficient of area expansion of steel equals 2 times the coefficient of linear expansion 2 times 11 times 10 to the minus 6 is 22 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. The original temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. The final is 120 degrees Celsius. So delta T is final minus original temperatures. 120 minus 22 is 98 degrees Celsius. The change in area is 0 0.025 meters squared. We are required to find the original area. Arranging the equation to solve for AO, 
you have AO equals delta A divided by B divided by delta T. Substituting the values and simplifying the original area is 11.60 meter squared. Now, let's consider volume expansion. Volume expansion can be defined as expansion in volume due to increase in temperature. In case of volume expansion, there is increase in length, width, and height. Table 7.3.3 shows the formula for the volume expansion along with the linear and area expansion for comparison. Table 7.3.3 shows the formula formulas for linear area and volume expansions. We already learned the formulas for linear and area. Now for the volume. The volume has similar formulas with the area and linear except that this time we will cons we are considering delta V as the change in the volume and the coefficient of volume expansion now is C where C is three times the coefficient of linear expansion. BO is the original volume, BF is final volume in cubic meters, and delta T is change in temperature in degrees Celsius. Now, let's continue with the examples. Example number 10. <clears throat> a brass cube has a volume of 1.7 meter cube at 16 degrees Celsius. By how much will its volume increase when the temperature reaches a maximum value of 134 degrees Celsius? Solution. Using the formula delta V equals C times BO times delta T, where the coefficient of volume expansion of brass is 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion of brass. 3 times 19 times 10 to the minus 6 is 57 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. The original temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. Final temperature is 134 degrees Celsius. So delta T is 134 minus 16 equals 118 degrees Celsius. The original volume is 1.7 meter cube. We are required to find the increase in the volume or the change in the volume when the temperature is 134 degrees Celsius. So using the formula and substituting the values, the answer is 0 0.0114 meter cube as the change in volume. Example number 11. A copper prism is <clears throat> 0 0.7 meter long, 0.3 meter wide, and 0.1 meter high at 10 degrees Celsius. What is the prism's final volume when the temperature is increased to 95 degrees Celsius? Using the formula, final volume equals original volume times quantity 1 plus C delta T. The C of copper is 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion of copper, 3 times 17 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 51 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. The original volume is obtained by multiplying the length, the width, and the height is 0 0.7 times 0.3 times 0 0.1 equals 0 0.021 meter cube. Change in temperature is 95 minus 10 equals 85 degrees Celsius. Substituting the values into the equation and solving for the final volume that is equal to 0 0.02109. Example number 12. A piece of aluminum bar is 3.65 meters long, 1.45 meters wide, and 1.28 meters high on a cold day, negative 28 degrees Celsius. If its volume changes by 0 0.38 cubic meter, to what temperature should it be raised? So, using the formula delta V equals CBO times delta T, the coefficient of volume expansion of aluminum is 
3 times the coefficient of linear expansion, which is 3 times 23 times 10 to the minus 6, or 69 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Original volume is length times width times height, 3.65 times 1.45 times 1.28 is 6.77. Original temperature is negative 28 degrees Celsius. Change in volume is 0 0.38 meters squared. We are required to find the final temperature. First, we solve for delta T. Delta T equals delta V over C times B original. Substituting the values and simplifying, we get delta T equals 813.47 degrees Celsius. So, solving for the final temperature Tf from delta T is Tf minus TO. Final temperature Tf equals delta T plus TO. Substituting the values, we get 785.47 degrees Celsius. Example number 13. A steel sphere has a radius of 0 0.15 meter at 22 degrees Celsius. If it is heated to 120 degrees Celsius, find the final radius of the sphere. Here, we are given the radius of the sphere. Recall that the volume of a sphere of radius R is given by the formula V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, the original volume V sub O equals 4 thirds times pi times r sub O cubed. Substituting the values, we get V sub O is 4 thirds times pi times 0 0.15 cubed equals 0 0.01413 cubic meter. The coefficient of volume expansion of steel is three times the coefficient of linear expansion of steel. So 3 times 11 times 10 to the minus 6 is 33 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree Celsius. Original temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Final is 120 degrees Celsius. So change in temperature is 98 degrees Celsius. Using the formula Bf equals Bo times quantity 1 plus C delta T, substituting the values and solving for Bf, Bf is 0 0.014176. From V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, rearranging to solve for r, r is the cube root of 3 times V over 4 pi. Thus, the final radius is the cube root of 3 times the final volume, which is 0 0.014176, divided by 4, divided by pi. Substituting the values and simplifying, we have the final radius equals 0 0.15016 meter. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.